We celebrate veterans in November, but the strength behind veterans is their family members. During National Military Families Month, employees at the VHA Office of Oversight, Risk, and Ethics share their stories about service and sacrifice. The question, you know, why, why did I choose to serve? I think, you know, the legend in my family is that there's been a Howard in the military since there's been a U.S. military. My maternal grandfather spent 33 years in the Marine Corps. My paternal grandfather, he spent 24 years in the Army. But my father was a drill instructor. Uh, and I really didn't touch him. My grandfather, my grandfather was actually in the Navy. So we crossed over from the Navy to the Army to the Air Force. My father, uh, he served 20 years in the United States Air Force. I've got an uncle that retired from the Navy, a cousin who uh, retired or uh, spent uh, time in, in the Army. Her husband was in the Navy. Another uncle uh, retired from the Army. So that's just what my family does. And, and um, I'm so thankful for their service. Active duty families consist of about 1.8 million spouses and 1.2 million children. We honor the commitment and contributions they make to support our veterans. I've had the opportunity to serve, but I've also had the, I still do have the opportunity as a veteran spouse. And my husband was in the Navy, so there was a lot of deployments in between. At the time, it would typically be nine months long and six months long and missing birthdays and missing delivery days. <laughs> I mean, my family has been pretty remarkable when I deployed to Afghanistan. As I mentioned, I was just got married. And for my wife to be indoctrinated all of a sudden into the military that her husband is deploying to war, uh, she was she was very strong in Iraq. Our families serve just like we do. And in some cases, their service is even more selfless. We recognize parents, children, siblings, who stay behind and support their loved ones who are miles away, protecting our nation. The family are the real core of what allows any service person to serve success. The family members serve as well. Um, you know, um, the veteran and the spouse and the children, um, they serve alongside our veterans every day. So as we extend our thanks to the veterans, let us also remember to extend our thanks to the um, spouses and the children that serve alongside them. Extend your thanks during Military Families Month. Say thank you. Thank a member of the military or their family members. Post your gratitude on social media. Use hashtag Military Families Month when you post. Visit a war memorial and learn its history. Attend an event or ceremony in your community. Volunteer at a local veteran service organization. Military Families, the Office of Oversight, Risk, and Ethics thanks you.